Bonjour, mes amis. This is Shelly, your green ATL mom. I am out in my driveway on the other side of my garden um, with, um, with a few of the sunflower, the sunflower pant, ugh, sorry guys, the sunflower plants that have dried, um, as you can see, see how they have nice and dry. I'm going to, I'm getting ready to collect the seeds. Um, I actually, I wanted to show you a process that I usually do when I collect my sunflower seeds. Um, I take a, this is a pretty, um, this bag might, is a bit too large for um, the seed heads, um, the flower heads that I have right here. But I'm just going to use this to demonstrate. But I take a brown paper bag. And a lot of times I will, sometimes I collect the seeds when they're still at this process. They're not fully dried out. So, you know, it's still a little wet and green. Um, do you see, can you see in there? You can see the seed heads in there. And then I would place the seed heads inside the bag. I would place them inside the bag and then like tie tie it up once it gets inside the bag and let them let it dry out inside the bag um, and when it's inside the bag the seeds your seeds will fall out the seeds will fall out so you take um, the seed head out once it has dried. Um, I can't really give you an exact time frame. Just watch for it to dry out. That's all I could say. Um, maybe give it probably a good two weeks. Um, but yeah, you're really just waiting for it to dry out and stuff. So once you take the seed head out of the bag and make sure you also tie the bag up um, your, your bag would probably be a little smaller or larger. It just depends on how big um, the flower head is. Um, and then you will have a bunch of seeds at the bottom when you take out your flower heads after they have dried. And so you will have, like I said, a bunch of seeds in the bag. And... That's an easy way to collect your seeds. Or you could just or you could just pick them out, you know, once they get dry. Because this this is fully dried and they'll come on out. Um, see, I don't know if you can see that. See how these just fell out. Or you could just, you know, like I said, you could just wait until they're just completely dried out and the seeds just fall out but if you're like me what I like I said what I usually do is I I kind of go ahead and cut the flower heads off um, once they start start to die out um, I let them sit in the yard for a little bit because I, I want the birds to enjoy them um, get a get some seeds you know but a lot of times I usually cut them at this stage and then put them in the bag and tie up the bag and have them in the bag for a few weeks. And, and then I just take out the um, flower head, like I said before, and I collect the seeds. Now this over here is the zinnias. Um, flower head that is starting to dry. I have never grown zinnias. This was my first year. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to try to collect the seeds, um, as best as possible this year. If anybody has, uh, collected the seeds before, um, leave a comment down below and let me know, should I have 
gone ahead and cut this off at this stage or should I have waited for it to dry out to look more like this um, but yeah I, like I said I've never grown the zinnias let me know um, how you do it if you've collected zinnia seeds before um, well I'm going to sign out guys um, it's been a while since I have been on YouTube um, hope to be back up here a little bit uh, more often and I am signing out don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and like always guys keep growing keep growing keep growing I'll be in